Great kids, friends, wait until you hear this Bible story today. It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 14. You can have mommy and daddy read it to you if you'd like. You know what book we, we read here at Creek Kids, don't you? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Friends, we're going to talk about a storm, a giant storm, a wo wavy, windy, terrifying storm. Have you ever heard wind blow so hard that you... It, Maybe it's even woken you up and you think, oh, oh, what's that? That's the kind of wind we're talking about today. Are you ready? And if you want to hold your Bible, go get your Bible. Let's do this. Our Bible story today is Jesus walks on water. Jesus had just finished preaching to, say this with Miss Sue, thousands. Can you say that big word? thousands, thousands, thousands of people. Sometimes it's even hard for me to say thousands. Well, he had finished preaching and he said to his disciples, and you remember what a disciple is, right? Someone who knows and loves Jesus and tells other people about him. He said to his disciples, hey, get in that boat and, and go out onto the lake, please. Jesus wanted to be alone with his father, God. Jesus went up on a mountain and he prayed. And the Bible tells us he prayed for several hours. Prayer is when we talk to God, right? And here at Creek Kids, we say one, two, three, clap. We bow our heads, we close our eyes, and we respect the Lord as we talk to him, right? Well, Jesus had even a closer relationship with God because God is his dad, his daddy. Can you imagine God being your dad? <gasps> he's our God, right? He's the, he's the one true God. But Jesus and God had an amazing uh, relationship. So Jesus went up on this mountain. He talked to his father God for several hours. And while he was doing that, a wind came up, a really big wind. I wonder what it sounded like. Let's listen. <gasps> Do you hear that wind? I wonder what it felt like on the person's face and in their hair, the disciples. They, they didn't know that that storm was going to come. And pretty soon their boat was shaking. Everything was just terrifying until, well, actually it gets a little worse. Soon they saw someone walking across the lake, walking on the water, friends. And they were so afraid. Can you show me your, your most afraid face? Mine is like this. Oh, that's me. If I'm scared, if I see a snake, I usually make a noise. Snakes scare me. I'm just being real. So they looked out and they, they saw this man walking on the, on the water. And one of the fellas, can you believe it? He said, it's a ghost. And they were all, they're all screaming by, like, like Miss Sue when I see a snake. They were all screaming. They were so afraid. And listen to what Jesus says to them. I love this part. The Lord Jesus said, don't be afraid. It's me, Jesus. Don't be afraid. It's kind of like he was saying, I have you. Don't, don't fear not. The Lord is with you. Jesus reached the boat and he got inside and right away the wind stopped. 
the waves stopped. Everything was calm. Who did that, boys and girls? You know, the Lord Jesus. He said, I, I'm telling you, he is the one, right? He's a miracle worker. He's a miracle maker. He calmed that water like nobody's business. And his disciples looked at him and they said, Yep, you are the Son of God. You are. You are him. They really got it that day. I love this Bible story. Have you ever tried walking on water? You have? I bet you, you didn't get very far, did you? I can't walk on water. I'm a very good swimmer, but I, I, I can't walk on water at all. Even if the water is frozen, I can't walk on it because I would fall and break my ankles or wrists or something. I'm kind of clumsy. So Jesus is the one who can walk on water. I love that about him because he is the son of God. Do you remember our Bible verse this week? Because this Bible story really does remind me of our verse. It's Psalm 147, verse 5. Do you want to say it with me? I'm going to use a little sign language. and it kind of help you to remember it. Okay, so we're going to say, Our Lord is great and very powerful. I love the word powerful. Let's say it again. Psalm 1, 4, 7. Verse 5. Our Lord is great and powerful. I know I can't stop a storm, but he can. Creek Kids, I hope you come right back here next week for another Bible story. Thanks for being here today. And if you want to come and see us on Sunday or Wednesday, Wednesday's fun. Wednesdays, we have supper at 5.30. After supper, all of preschool and kindergarten can come to Little Praise. We have a Bible story. We have puppets named Katie. She's Katie Collie. She has a very thick Kentucky accent. She's from Kentucky. And then we have Frilly, and we sing, and we dance. And I have, I have some of the sweetest ladies I've ever taught Sunday school with. They're here on Wednesday night too. So y'all come and visit us. Bye Creek Kids.